All right, so we're back with another episode on the 2019 Africa Twin. We're going to be replacing the air filters today. We're going to start off by removing the three fasteners holding on the fairing. There's one down below, one up by the speedometer instrument cluster, and then another one up top. Once you get those out, you're going to want to push in the little pin rivets. You just push the center in using a machinist scribe or an O-ring pick, and then they pop right out. And then all you got to do is just pop that pin all the way back out for reinstallation. All right, once you get all three of those out, there's going to be four more on the center spoiler cover, whatever you want to call it. Again, you just push in the centers and then pop them out. You're going to have two down below and then two on the back side. And there we go. All right, and then just grabbing on the back side of that cover, you're gonna to wanna to pull down. It's gonna be latched on the front and one little tab on each side. Now on the lower part of your fairing, you'll see this little trim piece held on by some Velcro. There's little two pieces of like little Velcro snap-on and like a rubber grommet. So you're gonna to wanna to pull that out. And then right around the emblem, grab around that and pop it on out. Essentially, you're just working your way from the back side of the fairing all the way forward and up to the top. If you can get your fingers in there and kind of use those as a, a wedge, that helps out tremendously. And there you go. So if you have some crash bars, you might want to remove them. It'd make this a whole lot easier. Just pop those off and there you go. And then remove your fairing. So now your air box is going to have four fasteners. Uh, two Phillips head up top and two Phillips head screws down below. The lower ones are captivated in the cover, so you're not going to have to worry about pulling those all the way out. There's a little knob on the back side of your air inlet pipe there. You're going to want to pull that towards the front of the bike to slide it out of its little keeper slot and then just pull it straight out and then you want to slide the airbox lid towards the front of the bike and there's the knob and you got your two little captivated screws on the bottom and then the two tabs that go into the back of the airbox back there and you want to wipe down the area around your filter element to make sure there's no debris that's going to fall in once you remove it you just take these two Phillips head screws out and then remove your filter element. All right, I'm installing a high flow air filter, number 1933. It looks just like the OEM one, except for it's red. Now we're just gonna double check, make sure everything's clean inside of there. It's looking pretty fresh and new. So go ahead and install your filter element. 
reinstall your two Phillips head screws and tighten those down. Make sure that there's no binding or any anything that's lifting up your filter element. Now you want to make sure that you can get the two tabs on the back of the lid into the slots that they go into. So you install it by tilting it away from the bike and then sliding it back in. All right, and then you get your air hose in there. And then you'll notice that it doesn't want to really stay seated. And that's probably because these two little wires are sticking in the bottom and getting into the joint that you're trying to seal up. So you just pull those out of the way. And then now it's sitting really nice and tight. So you want to reinstall your two upper fasteners and then snug up the two lower fasteners. Now there's that knob on the back side of your air hose. You're going to want to slide that forward to get into that, that groove so it secures it. And there we go. Alright, now it's time to put our fairing back on. So we're going to work this the opposite way that we took it off. We're going to start at the, the front and the top and kind of work our way back down towards the emblem and then all the way down to the bottom. Now you want to pay special attention around the, the headlight area because there will be a gap unless you get the fairing hooked over the front of a lip. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see. And then you just want to kind of do a little bang test, make sure everything's popping back into place. And then get those two little Velcro snaps. There we go, nice and solid. Now we want to reinstall all of the screws that we took out. So you got the one in the top, one in the bottom. and one up by the instrument cluster. Now we want to reinstall all of our push rivets. Make sure those pins are popped all the way out. Then you just install the rivet and then snap it in. All right, once you get done installing the rest of your rivets, you're going to want to repeat this whole process on the opposite side. And then once you are done doing that, you're going to want to reinstall your little under underside spoiler uh, with the four pin rivets. I found the easiest way is to install the front of that spoiler and then clip in the sides. And then once you get your four uh, pin rivets back installed, then uh, yeah, reinstall your crash bars and you're good to go. There we go. So, there we have it. 2019 Africa Twin, brand new air filters installed.